My fellow Amazonians, this is Dr. Choa Yaba. Happy Country Sunday to all of our people on GZ. And I salute all other persons across the globe, those who believe in the total freedom of our country and the independence of our nation. Um, last night, the enemy killed a couple of civilians in Bamenda. I think specifically behind Che. They killed two of our soldiers of the seven kata from Foya. Also within the Bamenda metropole. They then bundled the civilians from behind chair and put them together with the soldiers to hide their crimes. That is the impunity with which uh, the enemy functions. And if you ever doubted the brutality and uh, animalistic instincts that informs the way they function, the targeted assassinations, rape, burning of villages, torture, massive incarceration of our people. It should remind you of the beast that you are fighting against. And we must all remain steadfast and know that the only way we will survive as a state even after independence is building a professional army ensuring that every Ambazonian above the age of 18 is enlisted in the army to defend our homeland. We are faced with hostile powers, the raging waves of the Atlantic, the roaring thunder of Nigeria, and the blistering tendencies of Cameroon. That's what we are facing. Eight million strong people. And we have shown when we walked out of the Eastern House that we are a people with the wit and determination to chart our own path. And as we have decided that the illegal occupation of 1961 must come to an end, it has to come to an end. And I pray that all of us are committed you know, towards the defense of the independence restored and affirmed. I'm also making this audio because of uh, our day of independence that is under threat, not from the usual enemy, but from the impostors who by some accident found their way in our war of liberation. I, I salute the bravery of everyone, every contribution that people may count but if there is a persistent attempt to undermine the spirit, the integrity of our war of liberation, irrespective of the contribution people have made, we must call them out. I, 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 I listened the other day how they were talking about succession. That should tell you that this bunch of people do not even have a constitutional provision on how succession takes place. The kind of tyranny and chaos that visited the continent 60 years ago, and we are still two generation, generations after struggling, you know, to undermine. Days of independence are days that nations showcase, you know, their bravery, their potentials, whether in economic, political, military. It's a day they remind neighbors, hostile neighbors that they are strong enough to defend their sovereignty. It's a day to remind their former or erstwhile occupiers that we are not only independent, but we are strong enough to defend it through time and space. I, I watched the other day, the Catalonians, they were out in their millions celebrating their day of independence. The United States celebrates its day of independence every 4th of July with pomp and pageantry. 
showcasing military power, might, Americans, America's progress, taunting Britain. Every other country does that. There is only one suspect that does not celebrate his day of independence. And there is only another imposter that on our independence day always calls for lockdown. Cameroon never celebrates the 1st of January as his day of independence. And these Maryland imposters have always called for a lockdown on a day that our people show where they are tall, they are sanjap, whatever they have, and come out, sing at the top of their voices that free, we are free, free at last. You don't lock people down, you don't hide on your day of independence. So I ask all of you to ignore. I know most of you have become willing accomplices to this psychological terror constantly being imposed by a few people hiding in their basement. A couple of commanders wielding a, a couple of AK-47 and locking you down for months and you just hunker down as though you don't have the power to reverse it. I understand that sometimes you give them the benefit of the doubt that they take your interests at heart. But if there is this persistence in bad attitude, bad actor approaches, in undermining or undercutting what will take you forward, you must reject it. And that's why I call on our people to reject this so-called lockdown imposed by those imposters. And, and prepare yourself, make flags, get paints. We need to paint every tree, every road, blue and white to showcase that we are free, to give hope to those in jail, to remind families still mourning that their kids didn't die in vain. Lockdowns are designed to frustrate the enemy. Their governors want to visit you lockdown. They ask you to continuously celebrate 11 February, you lockdown. 20th May, you lockdown. They call for elections, you lockdown. Those are targeted, specific, Strategies designed to achieve tangible objectives. On 1st of October is the day that people should be showing what they claim they have, the investments they have made. But these imposters have nothing to show for. The daring of soldiers who are rejecting them on a daily basis. And they know that the only way they can wield power is to, you know, frighten you. And then sit back on Facebook and, and they're watching where you are scared enough to stay at home. Let them, let them show their army on the ground. Let them show the institutions they've erected to show that independence means independence. That once declared must be defended. So my fellow people, this is one day we should all agree, even in silence without uttering a word, that it's our day of independence. And there is no specific reason. If, for example, Cameroon was planning to celebrate on our streets, we could say, all right, rather than confront with our population, we should lock down. There is no specific reason why any madman, even Mbela, will call for a lockdown or Sang Prosan, who call for a lockdown. Only people unknowingly, unknowingly sponsoring or aiding and abetting the agenda of the occupier and that of colonialism will deliberately ask people who should come out in their millions to sing hail, 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 to stay at home. There is no sense and I ask you all to reject it. We will keep preaching, explaining why lockdown is not uh, a strategy on a day that we should all come out and hoist our flags at the top of our homes. God bless you.